This is Stephen Zucker with Beth Harris. We're in the Portland Art Museum, and we're looking at Robert Cole Scott's 1979 painting, Beauty is in the Eye of the Beholder. And so we see the artist, I presume, looking very artisty in pants covered in paint and slippers in his studio. And he's sitting in front of a copy that he's done, it looks like, of Matisse's painting of the dance. But he's not, he's not he's not looking, looking at, at the painting. No. And there's a model behind him. And she looks like she's disrobing or getting dressed. Well, uh, hold on for just a All moment right. because th there's so many layers of reference here. There's, it's there it's are. just enormously complicated because we assume that she's a model because she's either dressing or disrobing. Um, and she's in the artist's studio, so of course. I mean, it, it, one thinks well, about the studio by, by Courbet, for instance, right? Yeah. But on the other hand, there's something sort of uh, very racy about the way that she's been represented. Well, and, but, you know, artist models sort of had that reputation, right? I mean, going back, or, you know, you, you couldn't easily go and ask, like, you know, your mother and her friends to go and undress for you. Okay. So you could be, Fair So enough. you had to, you know, you had Fair to get enough. a woman of a cer Fair of enough. a kind of lower class who would need the money okay. and Fair enough, but, that, but that's contrast against the actual nudes that are being, rep or I shouldn't say actual, but the nudes that are being represented by Matisse, and so that's the allowable nudity, as opposed right. to something that, that's sort of far less comfortable, and made even less comfortable because of the race issues here in, in American tradition, right? Of a white woman and a black man. Right. And I think that right. that's something that's, that's clearly being But it just being occurred to me of. that this is a take on Surratt's painting of the models, ah, the posers, okay. where he's got the grand jat in his studio Absolutely. and he's got the models dressing so and actually I think they're putting on their stockings and they're just her stockings are so, so obvious. So what does her. it mean to create a painting in 1979 that is a kind of that just references um, like mad the history of art and what does it mean to look at a painting like this with or without that art historical knowledge? How does, I mean, is this, it's a very sort of wonderfully straightforward canvas um, in, in a way. It's painted in a very direct kind of manner and beautiful and, and, um, and there's, there's a real sense of sort of openness um, to the way that it's referenced. But it's also sort of playful in the way mm -hmm. that it's painted. Um, and yet it's also sort of presuming this really deep knowledge of art history. Yeah, but I'm wondering how much you need of it. An African-American artist, there, I mean, I think there's sort of enough in our culture to sort of get this, even without all that art history. You know, we all know that most of the, most of the people who are in Jansen's history of art are white men, you know, and that until very recently they didn't include stuff from other cultures or works by women. And then you have this African-American artist, so, you know, prominent in the center, you know, turning away from the Matisse, but also sort of, I don't know, how do you read this gesture? And then, I mean, and then the, the, the My woman immediate. who looks like a hooker. I mean, I think there's enough here that there's, you, you sort of get it without all the art history. But okay, what do you think enough. about his gesture? That's the, that's the puzzle to me. I think, I think, you know, he is looking at us almost as if he's discerning or critiquing our view. Our gaze. Our gaze, yeah. that's right. And, and I think that that's really fascinating. Oh, well, he's like, because the title, of course, is Beauty is in the Eye of the Beholder. And he's looking at us, and we're beholding him. But we're also looking at the woman who is looks kind of racy, and we're also looking at this icon of uh, what the Western canon. Not to mention, so what do we find beautiful? Where you know, where does beauty lie? Why do we hold beauty in certain places and, and not in others? And, per and perhaps is even the art historical referencing somehow a, an impediment? to, um, in a sense, uh, the capturing of beauty, or, or is it some way a kind of focusing or distilling of that beauty? In other words, does it help or hinder? Does what help or hinder? I um, in it. a sense, all of the, all of the references to, to art history. Ah. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm looking at Jasper Johns. It's just the painting is completely full of, of art historical reference. Right, and in the so, paint can. You saw the, the Johns, can. That's right. right. Exactly right. Yeah. So, and there, of course, there's a long tradition of artists in their studio, right? I love it. Me too.